what's up everybody is cross current today i'm doing some more barony i am so very very sorry with how long it's been since my last video and you guys are owed an explanation so i had that trip that i was telling you about it lasted two and a half weeks came back hurricane happened had to leave immediately couldn't make videos Drove back to central U.S., assuming it had an apartment or some place with reliable internet. Didn't. Figured I could use my laptop to upload the videos. Couldn't. And then I eventually got a place. Eventually got Spectrum. And then didn't get internet for a week. Because Spectrum is bad. All things aside though, I'm here to make that merchant guide. I believe also people want to see the Rogue, Sexton, and DLC characters. If I missed any of them, please comment below on what you want to hear. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Share with your friends if they could use it. Subscribe if you want to see some more and support the channel. And if you don't like it, let me know in the comments what I could improve on. That being said, let's dive right into this. Today I'm doing the Merchant Guide. So for starting off we have the races with the merchant i think personally any and every of these could work it just depends on your play style i would advise against vampire just because most of the time that requires you to rush through dungeons as opposed to taking your time which a merchant excels at i'll get into that with the skill set of the merchant but the vampire typically requires blood or dies really quickly if you have hunger turned on, keep that in mind if you're playing as a merchant because that will make you have to speed up a little bit. Whereas in other mode, you can take your time, dirt all about, and appraise everything. The merchant obviously works around the shop. So, do 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 fish sticks. Alright. So, when it comes to statistics, the merchant has one strength, negative one dexterity, zero constitution, negative one intelligence, one perception, and one charisma. So, not really anything amazing there. Also starts off with... Oh, that's rude. Oh, I didn't choose the right character. Huh? Now I have the right character. Sorry, chat. Okay, so those are all the skill sets for the merchant. You also have one more perception because you're wearing glasses. Now, you also have 500 gold, which is good. I mean, you're a merchant, so shocker right there. But you're basically working around the shop to get the levels finished. Do not try to speed run the merchant. I think that is a terrible idea because the character moves darn well slow. And if you remove the armor, he's just going to die. Yeah, guy's not meant to speedrun. Clearly stated. Great in parties. Fantastic in parties. Reason why you have trading and appraisal both at 50. So whatever can do is give you their stuff. You sell it to get more gold than they'd receive. And anything that's not appraised, they can appraise it. By the way, when you appraise stuff, if you have a better chance of noticing something that's really good. Other people may appraise, let's say, a ring on the ground as a rough ring of, I don't know, something useless, like charisma, something of the sort. You know, there's something that just does nothing. Well, this guy might be able to determine it as a blessed ring of levitation. Amazing! Wow, how did it work? Because more appraisals, so you have a better chance of knowing what the heck it is. Now you also have level 20 leadership, which is barely helpful. You might be able to control your allies a little bit better to help you out, especially if you're running solo. You have 25 skill in the axe. I don't think this is very important because if you find anything better than a bronze plus three axe, you should use it. Alchemy is at 10, that's just there to be there. When it comes to your items, you do have a scroll of remove curse, which is fantastic. Do not get rid of that. Believe me, you might find something like a minus five ring of invis invisibility. You're going to want to use this to get rid of that curse. Sometimes it even gives you a blessing equal to the amount removed. Not saying that happens all the time, though. I'm not sure. You also get cheese to meat. You get excellent gloves. 
service little pickaxe, which should give you four to six hits off that pickaxe to go through the walls, to get to special levels, to get everywhere you need to be. As I said before, the glasses, which gives you one more perception, it takes up only five weight, it's nothing crazy, no reason not to. If I'm in a bigger room, I can show you. Okay. It used to be able to show you when you took off the glasses that the room would be a little bit darker. And when you put on it, it'd be a little bit lighter. It should help with your vision. Yep. Oh, it's a plus four bronze axe. Silly me. It's still bad. You have a plus two leather breastplate. This, if you're going to take anything off to move quicker, you would take off that. And a useless hat, which the only use for it that I can see is that this will sell for 33 gold. So we're just going to keep it on for now and look stylish. And the, uh, well, the whole job will look. Alright. Definitely grab some torches before you go because, yeah, good luck. Now you're going to want to play very passive when you play as this, like when you see a skeleton you're going to probably want to avoid them, like I didn't, or you'll die. But hey, look at that, it's a merchant. Let's restart that real quick, sorry guys. This is not a beginner's class to play unless you are with friends. I'll see if I can make the level 5 for you guys though, just to give you a brief rundown of gameplay. Uh, interesting thing about the shopkeeper, if you run into the shop and there's an enemy chasing you, he will attack the enemy. There are very few enemies the shopkeeper will not attack. No spiders. No. Uh, if this ever happens, it's because a spider is aggroing you, so it's not in the correct spot to get killed by that trap. Okay, we're gonna get some levels. Heard that maces are best against skeletons, so if you find a mace, I would definitely switch to that, since they are your main concern. And just uh, pray you find the exit. Double shopkeeper, fantastic. Just what you want. Minus the door being locked. If there is an enemy, don't stand in the doorway because the shopkeeper will kill you. 
And it will hurt you. Guess we got Ron's face. Should probably appraise those. Jewelry store. Now, I personally don't like to buy jewelry because you don't know exactly what it is. You could have a ring of something useless, an amulet of strangulation, and there's no way to tell. Uh, I will sell my amulet of strangulation though. Uh, to quickly level up your character, if you have something very cheap, such as uh, empty bottles, you can sell it to the shopkeeper, sell them all, like, let's say you have 10 of them, and then buy 10 of them, and it will help your trading improve rapidly. It's a little bit of a trick, but also, if you have the stuff, you might as well use it. Here, I don't think I have much I can do that with. A better melee weapon. I hope it's slightly better. We'll take it. All right. Like I said, though, I suggest with ten. If you do with one, that's gonna take you. A really long time, and I don't think it's worth it at that point. You hold shift bar. Definitely want to remember that if you're ever trying to sneak on anything. Alright, you know, I might be able to show you guys. I got a lot of, uh, got a lot of empty bottles out of nowhere. You guys are going to want to make sure that you're picking up literally everything and appraising it to get those free levels off of them. That's a new, uh, new addition of the game. They didn't have that in the past. Empty. Baron Downs definitely update this game. Props to them. Can't do that because they don't buy the potions. Oof. Well, alright. Yeah, whatever you can spam in and out of the shop, sell, buy, sell, buy, buying and selling should both work for that. So with level 20, I can make him interact, move, pick up certain items. That's not bad for starting off. It really isn't bad at all.
You have proved useful, young squire. It's not back there, no more. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just loving up my leader ability and trying to ally get all the kills. Ooh, that might be potion of healing. Although you guys haven't seen me- oh shoot. Second. That's basically an extra dig. All right, chat. We getting there. We getting there. Luckily, I have oh, not two archers. Never mind. One archer. I'll take it. Too crazy. Could be better, could be worse. Honestly, if you're very skilled at making it through the first levels, Goblin Merchant wouldn't be bad, since you'll be appraising and doing all these leveling up without really need needing to worry about the spell books. But uh, yeah, especially on these levels, you can pass it with a breeze, and maybe the five levels afterwards. But aside from that, guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope this was really helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, will definitely keep making videos for you now that I have consistent internet. And be sure to smash that subscribe button, drop a like, share, comment, all that. Would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.